John Decker, Director of Instruction for the Medallion Club and Top 25 Instructor for Golf Tips Magazine, and welcome to Decker Golf. Today I want to work with you on your short game, and I want to talk about club selection, and I want to talk about a term that you may often hear, the angle of approach or angle of attack. If, I, if I'm hitting my ball with a driver, I'm teeing the ball up on a tee, and I'm trying to sweep the ball off the tee. So I have a very shallow angle of, of approach. In fact, I'm actually hitting slightly up on the ball. But when my ball is sitting down in the rough like this ball, I need to come in very steeply. If I come in shallow, I'll blade it. I won't, I won't get the ball in the air at all. So I need to come in very steeply. And there's several different things that I do in my setup, but I want to talk more about the club selection. The first thing that you need to do is when you get a bad lie around the greens, you need to go with your most lofty club. And in my case, mine is a 60 degree lob wedge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lob wedge, I'm going to open the face up. This is going to use, utilize more of the bounce or the back of the club. But the key thing is, is when I set up, I'm going to set my weight to the left and I'm going to use a lot of wrist and I'm going to have a very sharp snap at the bottom. So it's going to be more of a, a, a very up to down motion. I'm going to have very little follow through, if any at all. So I've got a bad lie here. All I'm trying to do is pop this ball on the green. I'm going downhill. I've got about, uh, say, 25, 30 feet of green to work with. So I'm going to open the face, lean left. Now watch how I go up, down, just like that. There's a little rotation when I do it. I'm going to open the face and just do it like that. So I pop that ball on the green. The ball's going to run down there. I'll take that one every single time, especially out of a bad lie like that. Now I've got a good lie. My ball is sitting up in the grass, let's say, in this situation, my ball, sometimes when you get in the primary rough, your ball is sitting up. You're not always going to be sitting down. So what I'm going to do now is because I have a lot of green to work with and I'm going downhill, I'm going to now go with my 56. And instead of coming in steep like this, I'm going to come in more shallow. And I'm going to square the face up. I'm going to lean to my left a little bit, not as much. My feet are closer together. And now I'm just going to have a little more rotation. Notice I'm coming in a little more level and I have a little more follow through. It's not such a steep angle of approach. I'm going to swing it back and have a little rotation just like this. Ooh, that was going a little bit hard. It hit the, it hit the cup, but again, I would be happy with that one. Was, I carried that ball a little farther than I would like. Uh, but overall, I, I would be happy with that shot. So learn to, to change your angle of approach. When you get a bad lie, lean left, come in real steep. When you get a good lie, you can come in a little bit more level. You don't have to come in quite as steep. Practice this. Remember, all you're doing is doing it by setting your weight. Steeper, the more you lean to the left, the steeper you'll come in. The more you get 50-50, the shallower you'll come in. Try this the next time you're out practicing, and I guarantee you, you're, you're going to improve your short game.